guys, we are at Value Village, waiting for them to open. They got all their Christmas stuff out. What else do they have? Oh, these chairs are cute. Valentino? No. Hope we find something good. We didn't find anything yesterday. We're due for a luxury bag. We haven't found a luxury bag in a hot minute. Bottega? No. I don't see anything. It's another fail today. Literally, butt kiss. Bugus, no bueno, el nada, yo quiero tu sexo. Oh, remember in the 90s? This was so cool. Yo quiero tu sexo de grande pene. I see nothing, guys. Nothing. Lulu? No. That is cute. Bellissima. Is this coach? No, it's not. Stella McCartney? No. Burberry? No. <sighs> Hi, Zazuj. Here's what Daniel's getting. Whatever it is, Aaron. Vision Streetwear from 1986. Old skateboard. Like Vans, but cool Vans. So he says. You've, I'm surprised you've never heard of it. I wonder if anyone else knows what it is. I don't know if this is Canada only or where. But I wasn't sure a skater in the 80s. Well, 86, I would have been not born yet. Are you serious? I think you're lying. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I don't think I want to get this. It's Victoria's Secret. Only $1.99 though. But it's kind of like a makeup bag. They have kind of like that. And then price it at my event for like $5. I don't know. I don't know. Cute with the sparkly. I don't, I don't know what we're going to do. This really cute jacket, sweater, it's wool. A little bit expensive though, but it's really good quality. Kind of cute, right? Ish. This bag which I'm loving, but I don't like the price. The price is twenty dollars, and they have this Coach Poppy, but it's like so worn. There's like no more printing on the front. Um. Okay. <laughs> we are waiting for Daniel. He's still deciphering whether he wants to get something or not. Um, I'll show you what we got so far. We got this Matt and Nat vegan leather bag for $7 and some change. Um, I've been finding a lot of Matt and Nat and I've been holding on to them. I think I have at least five or six that either I'm going to bring to my event or sell online. We'll see, but we got it. We couldn't resist it, resist it for that price and it's pretty good condition. So we got that. 
we got this bag it's called the trend i feel like they're a very underrated brand there's a little bit of fading here but i did receive my leather uh touch up uh spray paint at home it's specifically for leather so i'm probably gonna touch that up and it'll look brand spanking new i feel like the trend is a very understated underrated brand six dollars it's made in italy and the quality of their leather is fantastico fantastico like the leather is supple as my future budget see made in italy and like the leather on this is just so phenomenal like phenomenal balls i love the inside too it feels very silky kind of like reminiscent of old coach um early 2000s to 2010s coach when they lined their interior with that kind of like sateen silky material and you have like all this nice hardware on it too like and it's a fairly inexpensive brand um, they don't really mark it up at the thrift store so I don't know, I feel like for this we'll get 20 to 25, the matte nat 25 to 30, and I guess you didn't get the jacket. I didn't get the jacket, you made me sad. <laughs> just kidding. No, I just, I don't know. <gasps> oh! Is the zipper broken? The zipper is broken. Are you sure? Yeah. Is there a tooth missing? Because there's a way to, you know some tricks with zippers if you can't return it. There might be, I don't know. That sucks. I know if zippers are stuck, it's always a good idea to use the like, candle wax on them. And it works. Like a charm. Ashley. You look very <laughs> mad. <laughs> Just stare at the camera. What are you drinking? Coffee. Is that a Drew bag? No, oh, Airwalk. Ew, is that coming back? I remember getting you Airwalk. You want to show them what you got? Sure. I can find any of it. I got quite a few things today. You guys, the beginning of this week was such a bust. I went out yesterday with my grandparents, found nothing. It was so bad. So you found this like maybe late 80s, early 90s wolf crew neck. It's got a nice fade to it. Nice cracking on the design. Essential fall pieces. Um, I'll explain this right away. I can't reach. Give me a second, you guys. Cut. Oh, actually, let's do this quick. I found this today. I'm very happy with this one. I like it. Check it out. You guys know what this is? Chanel. I'll show it back. The chain, the label, C all over print. It's got the C on the back here and it even has, if I can find it. I'm struggling here, you guys. Right here too. On the back of the tie, there's this Chanel like box logo kind of thing. Really cool. I never find Chanel ties, so. Very nice. And then, Got some mucklucks today for the winter. Manitoba mucklucks. Very nice. Gray color. Why are you dead silent? <laughs> this doesn't help me. Buy his stuff, please. <laughs> Buy his stuff, please. You guys, let's show, let's show if anyone knows who this guy is. I looked it up. I found out what this was. I found this shirt today. Really interesting piece. I'm guessing more of like a late 90s print shirt. It's on this tag I've never had. It's called Rock and Death. It's a really cool looking tag. And then... The one really cool find from today is crazy. I will bring them up. So there used to be this brand in the 80s called Vision Streetwear, and they made like skateboarding shoes, skateboarding clothes. So it's very popular then. Um, it's very similar looking to Vans. I don't know when Vans started, but I feel like Vans copied the look of these. But I found these shoes today. Here they are. They got embroidered on the front. It says sick of it all. Um, these shoes were printed in 1986. Uh, and these shoes are very rare because they were made for a band. It was like a band collab. They're a hardcore band from New York. So this was like a collaboration shoe. The band formed in 1986 and this shoe was made in 1986. There's no listings online for these and they're really crazy. Straight edge kind of skateboard punk shoes. Very neat, total Vans look. The crazy thing about this is not only did I find this pair, but I also found another pair. What? Who had these sitting in their basement? I don't know. It's very cool though. Like very, to find one pair is odd enough, but to find two sitting there is really weird. So that would be fine of the day, probably fine of the week. Honestly, I don't think anything's gonna top this. Very crazy. And I got a Hard Rock Cafe crew neck. This one's interesting. It's for Calgary. Really cool. It's got an embroidered front, Canada, Hard Rock Cafe. And we also got this really interesting Tundra all wool vest. Uh, very colorful and has bear paw prints all over it. 
I like the look of it. People, you know, girls can lay, girls or guys can layer this with crew neck sweaters. I don't know, whatever they would like to. Did you like my boring spiel? <laughs> Please buy stuff. That's all you're gonna say all day. That's your one line. Please buy stuff. Guys, I have a lot of nice stuff. Ashley's not the only one with nice stuff, okay? I mean it. I got a lot of nice stuff. Shoot me messages if you see anything you like. Even on my pages, if you guys see anything, I'll be happy to send you guys detailed photos, measurements, whatever you guys need. We picked up a few more things that I want to show you. Um, some Tory Burch dust bags. These were $3.50 less than $2 off. I think they were meant for boots, but you could use them for bags too. Picked up this Kate Spade little lanyard slash card holder. It was only $3.50 less $2 off. I mean, 20% off. I think they didn't know that the spade was Kate Spade, even though it's <laughs> written on the thing. You have your ID, some cards, and then you have a zip around, which is nice and more room. And I love the color pink, so. And then we picked up this Michael Kors. Surprise, this was still there. $25 less 20%. Not a fan of the color, but I know a lot of people are. Um, older Michael Kors, I think this is the Selma. Could, I think it's the Sel quilted Selma, maybe. Um, no longer made, but I, I love, I mean, $25 less, 20% off, not too shabby. A little bit dirty inside, but we can clean that out. Um, I've always liked older Michael Kors, like pre-2015 Michael Kors or pre-2017. This one was a little bit expensive. It's Marc Jacobs. It reminds me a lot of their tote bag. I think this is the model that came before the tote bag. So it's all canvas. It says Marc Jacobs right here. Then you have like this hardware. Um, inside just says Marc Jacobs. It was $50 less 20% off. So I think we paid like about 40 something and some change. Um, sorry, I'm trying to look at the material. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's all canvas, like the really, really good quality thick canvas. And then all this is leather and you have a back pocket, which is nice. I really like it again um, because it just reminds me of the tote bag and the tote bag sells for maybe like 300, 250 around there. And it gives you tote bag vibes without actually being tote bag because you know every bitch got her tote bag. Um, I love the hardware. It's nice and chunky. Definitely real brass, which adds a kind of like a luxurious touch since Louis Vuitton doesn't even do that no more anymore. But I love it. Yeah, so don't know how much we're going to sell this for. Don't even know what it goes for. But oh, it's in a but it's a button snap closure and it has one zip pocket. And then over here, it has like one slit pocket. I love all the leather trim. I feel like Michael Kors is I mean, Michael Kors, Marc Jacobs. I forgot to add them into my list of bags, contemporary designers in the last video, because I said the highest contemporary designer would be like Tory Burch. And then you'd be like. My, uh, coach maybe coach and Tory Burch tied then Michael Kors and Kate Spade then Rebecca Minkoff and then all the other department store brands but I forgot to add that I feel like Marc Jacobs would be about maybe on par so it'd be like Tory Burch coach Marc Jacobs all on par together before you downgrade um yeah I love that bag I love Marc Jacobs bags a lot even back in the day Anyway, that's all that we got, guys. I hope you're doing well. Um, I don't know. I've just been, I don't know. I was thrifting all day with Daniel. We're still with Daniel. He's still inside. But I've just, like, was been, a, been in a mood today. Like, I, I think it's just because I was, I'm switching to keto. I'm switching to a keto diet again. So that's kind of affecting my mood. And also because... I woke up way too early. I think I went to bed at like midnight and then I woke up at 5 a.m. And then I was on my phone at 5 a.m. till like 7 a.m. And then at 7 a.m. I went back to bed and woke up at like 8, 20 a.m. And then got ready and then go pick up Daniel. But then also like my car, like the tire in the back, like this side, the tire on the back side keeps going like low air. So I probably have a leak going on over there and that's kind of annoying. So I had to full uh, pump the air in it this morning. So I was even late to pick up Daniel. And then that whole Michael Kors bag being damaged and 
I don't know. It's just like one of those days that is just kind of annoying. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in buying anything, let me know. I We can negotiate. Just give me all money. And if you're interested in anything that Daniel has, message me or him. Uh, he got that really nice Chanel uh, tie. Low-key jealous. Low-key a little annoyed about that too. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you're doing well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know which item I thrifted is your favorite. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.